Looking for a good read for your middle grader, or maybe even yourself? Our next guest may have just the book. She's a lawyer turned author of now three children's novels, and her latest, All the Ways to Go, is out now. We welcome in via Zoom author Jesse Janowitz. Hi, Jesse. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. Hey, I've noticed you, you've, you've stepped away from the donuts. <laughs> Talk about your first, I have. Your first two books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my first two books were about a kid who starts his own chocolate cream donut business. Um, and they were very popular <laughs> with, with kids who were excited to try baking. There were recipes in there and kids and parents made the recipes together. They started their own businesses. I love the way that it inspired kids to get out there and try baking and some entrepreneurial efforts. Absolutely. What what child doesn't have that lemonade stand dream, right? So those exactly. books are very popular. So let's exactly. talk about how we've, we've turned a, 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 the page, for lack of a better, pardon the pun there, all the ways to go. What's this about? So um, I'll tell you a little bit about the inspiration for it. I have three kids and my middle son, Leo, was really into drawing when he was little. I think parents are always looking for their kids to get involved, to, to develop a passion. And we immediately jump on them and try to support them. And I bought him sketchbooks and I took him to museums. And finally, after I think something like five years, he confessed to me, he was like, Mom, I'm not that kid anymore. Like, move on. <laughs> and it was this moment for me that I thought, you know, we always think about kids lying to get that extra cookie out of the cookie jar, but sometimes kids are lying to protect us as a kindness because they're afraid of disappointing us. And I wanted to write a book that kids and family could read together about a kid having a secret, keeping a secret because he was afraid of disappointing his mom. And so my main character, Milo, in this book tells a whopper of a lie and it lands him in a summer of nothing he ever wanted to do. He ends up having to live with strangers who don't give him any space. They run a cat rescue out of their house. He's terrified of cats. Um, he ends up having to be at CIT at a, at a um, day camp for preschoolers. And through this kind of funny, these funny adventures, he learns a lot about himself and he gets the courage to have that hard conversation with his mom. I love how your books tend to bring the parents and the children together. Obviously with the donuts, they're in the kitchen, you know, doing recipes. And this, I'm assuming is something that you would kind of encourage to be read together. Absolutely. All my books are written to be read as families um, and to bring joy and laughter. One of the, my favorite emails that I ever got um, was during COVID. Um, a mom wrote me an email saying, she was at home like everyone. Her kids were doing Zoom school in the morning. Her husband was working in the next room. And in the afternoon, over the dining table, she would read a chapter every day of my first book, The Donut Fix. And as they were giggling, they heard dad in the other room who was supposed to be getting work done giggling as well. <laughs> and she said, thank you so much. This book brought us together during COVID. And that. that's all my stories are meant to be read and enjoyed as a family. Um, they also have a lot of humor, and I just want to touch on that a little bit as a message for parents. If you do not see your kids giggling over a book, like something is wrong. We want to give our kids joy. The world is hard enough. There's some really scary, sad stuff going on out there. They see it all over. Find books that make, make your kids smile, that make you and your kids smile and laugh together and connect. That's what these stories are for. Well, that sounds like what I want in my house. Where can I find this book? It's, this book is available at local retailers, at the national chains. It's online. Order it now on bar, at barnesandnoble.com or amazon.com. And you can follow me on social media. I talk a lot about these issues and about finding books for kids. Um, so yeah, I look forward to connecting. Well, I'll be uh, your newest follower as soon as we're done with this interview. That sounds like excellent. jessiejanowitz.com, a great website to go. And you know, I've got an eight-year-old. If you've got kids growing and want to read together, sounds like a really good author you should be checking out. And these books, the newest, All the Ways to Go, out Barnes & Noble, Amazon, all your bookstores. Thanks for the time again this morning, Jesse. Thanks so much, Todd. I really appreciate it.